Hello fellow zombies, and in this video we're going to be starting off a let's play of the Dark Souls series or the Souls games or the From Software Souls games or whatever. And we're starting off with Demon Souls, but we're going to be doing the remaster version of Demon Souls. And the reason for that is because the uh, remaster, by the looks of it, or remake, is so unbelievably faithful to the original that it basically renders the original pointless in many ways. The original game is from 2009, I think, but it looks and plays like a game from before 2009. It was a bit dated even at the time. And the remake just basically gives everything a fantastic level of polish while still keeping everything. And I do mean pretty much everything fundamentally the same gameplay wise now i did start recording the first three videos in the series before but all the videos had no audio so i'm going to be starting again i usually play games as a female character um now last time i went with barbarian so let's have a look barbarian is like a strength build no i don't want to go for priest yeah i'm gonna go for a knight i think this time the reason why is because i went for the barbarian last time um but the problem was i felt the club didn't have much reach so i'm gonna try and go for the knight this time but still go for a strength build i think that's my plan um i used this last time so i'm gonna keep everything else exactly the same um, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm going to try and be quick. I don't want to waste time on a character creation screen. But I will tell you, it is kind of fun, though, to be fair. It's fun just, uh... Character creation is, is actually just quite enjoyable, to be honest. Can't really see the eyebrows to be honest. Let's go for like thin ones. That'll be fine. I don't want to change that too much. Oh my god! I did not realize you could customize teeth last time. Ooh. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, so I don't think I've ever seen a game where you can customize teeth before. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I kind of like the hair, to be honest. Give it a bit of a red tint, though, I think. Um, well, that's pretty cool. Jesus. I made like a stunning character. Wow, okay. Uh, how do you change eye color? That's the last thing. Whoa, that's cool. I think I'll go for green eyes, I think. There we go. Green eyes tends to go well with red hair. And I would call myself Zombie Reborn, but that was the name of my last character. So I think I'll just go with Reborn. There we go. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. 
that the old King Alant had roused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. The Syria with her night gal vineyard. And Sage Frake, the visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fisher. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. And we begin. Okay, first things first. I'm going to be fat rolling, I think. Can't have that. better um it looks quite stupid in most souls games when people are running around with no clothes on but the reason why is because if you can see right now i roll very fast if i put on the armor again i roll really slow and you need to be able to roll really quickly in these games i think this character's not going to attack there we go. Um, one thing before we continue is this game is a PlayStation 5 exclusive. And when I did my analysis series on the Demon's Souls games, for those of you who were around on my channel back then, uh, I played the original version of the game. I would have played the remake then for footage in that video if I'd known how faithful it was and if I'd had a PlayStation 5 back then. Back then, I didn't have PlayStation 5 because obviously they were very, very hard to get. And then I managed to get one a few months ago and I thought, well, it's the perfect time, really. This remake was created by... Uh, I didn't actually press that button, that was strange. This remake was created by Blue Point Games, not from software, but it is that faithful that it's in many ways a from software game with the exception of like its visuals like the graphics anyone who's played from software games knows that generally the graphics are not fantastic but the graphics on this game are very very good the menu also looks a bit more flashy and the graphics overall generally have had a big upgrade 
So visually, it doesn't look like a From Software game, but the gameplay and everything about the gameplay screams From Software. Anyone who's ever played a From Software game, because obviously it's that faithful to the original. Now we're going to see one of the strange mechanics of Demon Souls, which is the fact that you can vault over things. You can't vault over most stuff. You can't vault over this. I don't think, even though it's quite low. But there's some specific things that you can vault over. Uh, all Souls games are about stamina management. So if you can see the green bar at the top there, that is my stamina. If I take a hit, it, I lose some stamina. Um, see? So if I block a hit, I'm losing stamina. Everything you pretty much do, like running, rolling, uses stamina. If I attack, it uses stamina, and when you die in this game, usually it's because of poor stamina management. One of the mistakes a lot of new people make when they play these games is they have their shield up all the time, but the problem is, when your shield is up, you regain stamina slower. So if you can see now, my stamina regenerates very slowly, but if I let go, it literally regenerates practically instantly. See? A lot of the game is very much about balancing your stamina, basically. Also, game the games are nerfed being brutally difficult, of course, partly because of that. And that was pretty poor attempt. Also, especially this game, because you have limited healing items that, re that don't regenerate if you die. So at the bottom that you can see, at the bottom there I have grass and if we look we've got these different types of grass this is how you recover health in the game but you don't get that back when you die so basically if you start struggling and you use all your healing items you don't get it back which just fundamentally makes the game harder for you which is probably one of the poorer aspects of this game in my opinion it's something they fix straight away in Dark Souls Can't you parry that? I feel like I should have parried that there. Alright, I'm just gonna finish him off. There we go, because I'm just wasting some healing items there. I'll showcase the parry in a bit. There we go. That's a parry. Parrying is something that's qu quite hard to master and get the timing right for but it's very 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 strong because you can pretty much kill most enemies if you get it right there we go As you can see, and those are some of the very strong, that they are they are the strongest enemies in this tutorial, except for the boss. Those blue-eyed knights, we'll see a lot of those later, dealing more damage as well. Okay, that was very strange. This game is quite janky in a few areas, uh, because obviously, it is still a remake of the 2009 original at its core, even though obviously it has been updated and this remake released in 2020. A lot of those janky mechanics are still in place, like just some weird hit detection issues and stuff sometimes. Um, when things feel like they shouldn't hit you, but they do, and enemies hey, it's a bit strange because the enemies in this game use the exact same AI as the original game, which is something I don't think I've seen before in a remake. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna see the end of the tutorial, which is why I'm not wasting any of my healing items, despite the fact that I'm probably one it away from death, because I'm going to be dying now anyway. This is the boss that you're supposed to die to. You can beat him if you're very good at the game. But you are supposed to die to him, so I'm not going to try and defeat him. I've never actually defeated him. I've never beaten this game. I've never even beaten the original game. 
soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. So yes, one of the strange aspects of dying in Demon Souls is that as you can see at the top there, the top left, um, my health is now capped at 50%. So I can't go past 50% health until I've defeated one of the bosses in the game. And then when I defeat those bosses, I become human again and I have 100% health. It is one of the most bizarre mechanics, I will say, which is very, very, very punishing because you literally start the player off with full health and then after the tutorial take away half their health, which is very very a strange decision i will say uh, i'm not going to start the next level in this video but we'll talk to a few of these characters well you slipped through the fissure too did you you came for demon souls or to save this land and be remembered as a hero <laughs> hunting for demons try one of the arch stones now go that is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. I also think that in this remake they use the same voice actors, or even the same lines, because this guy is, sounds exactly the same as in the original. And this guy over here, which we're going to talk to in a sec, who sells you stuff and upgrades your weapons, the blacksmith, he also sounds identical to the original, so I do think they just reuse the same voice lines. I'm not sure about the Maiden in Black, wherever she's gone. She seems to have disappeared. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about her, but I know for a fact these two, that it's the exact same voice actors, probably with the same lines. Mm. You knew here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can, in trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? So yeah, this guy, uh, you can buy things from him. And you can upgrade your weapons with him, but we don't have the abilities for that now. And you can repair your stuff and all that sort of stuff. No interesting. I can tell you're not going to last long. Right, let's check these two weapons here. What's the difference between them? So, this one scales D in strength. This one scales D in dexterity. Okay. So the male breaker is more of a dexterity build, and the long sword is more of a strength build. Might as well unequip that because I'm not really going to be using a dexterity weapon in this playthrough. Um. This shield blocks 100% physical damage, which is good. So if an enemy hits the shield, it will block all the damage and I won't take any damage. There are some shields where you can still take damage even if you block. And there's other shields which deal, which are better against magic attacks and some which are better against fire attacks, as you can see there. So when I said that this weapon scales in strength, that means that... Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. That means that, as you can see here, at the bottom, when you've got the little fist um, on the attribute bonus, where it says attribute bonus, and you've got the little fist, the guy flexing his muscles, it says D. That means that it's D scaling in strength, which means that um, it is not very, not really very good at scaling in strength, but that's because it's a weak weapon. So when I upgrade it more, it will scale better in strength. So as I increase 
the points of strength that I have on my character, it means that uh, I'll do more damage with the weapon. For So if I, as you can see on the right where it's got attributes, it's got vitality, which is your health, intelligence is your magic, endurance is your stamina, strength is, like I said, you know, what I'm going to be, what I'm using in this build is how strong, so very strong weapons. Dexterity is weapons that are more fast and you can attack quicker with, but they're not as strong with each attack. Um, magic is obviously for magic. Faith is if you're like a priest. And luck is, I think, how lucky you are at finding certain items dropped off of enemies. So in this video or this series, I'm going to be going for strength build. So I'm going to be um, going for weapons that are you know, attack mediumly fast, not too fast, not too slow, but they deal a lot of damage. That's what I'm going for in this series. So I'm going to be leveling up strength, and that strength there where it says strength 14, that is higher than all the other statistics because obviously I'm going for strength. So as I level up with souls, the currency that's on the top right, then I can level up, put more points into strength, which means that this weapon will deal more damage. So there we go. I think I've explained all of that. In the next video, we're going to start the first proper level of the game. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But maybe share this video with anyone you think you enjoy it if you feel it was good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Zombie Reborn, signing out. Have a good one.